Hello students, let us go through one more sum based on Cramer's rule. This time the equations given are 7x plus 3y is equal to 15 and 12y minus 5x is equal to 39. Let's start with the first equation. The first equation is 7x plus 3y is equal to 15. Is the equation in the required form? Yes, it is. Variables on one side, constants on the other side and it is in the alphabetical order. First the x variable, then the y variable and then the constant, right? So let this be the first equation. Now look at the second equation. The second equation is 12y minus 5x is equal to 39. Variables are on one side. The constant is on the other side, but the problem is it is not in the alphabetical order. Here there is a y term first and then the x term. So you need to rearrange the left hand side in a way that you get it in the alphabetical order. So how do we write the left hand side here? Because you are not changing the side, you are just rearranging it. So don't change the sign. It will The sign will remain the same. You are just rearranging it, right? So what we write this as, it will be like minus 5x plus 12y is equal to 39. The signs are the same because signs are changed only when you change the side. When If you would have taken from LHS to RHS, you would have changed the sign, right? But here, you are not changing the side. You are just rearranging. You are just writing x term first, then the y term. So don't change the signs here, right? Let this be the second equation. Once we get the two equations in the required form, we write it one below the other. Now it's time for us to form and find the three determinants. The first determinant is denoted by D. In D, in the first column, you will write the coefficients of x, that is 7 and minus 5. In the second column, you will write the coefficients of y, that is 3 and 12. Now let's cross multiply. In the first bracket, you will get 7 into 12. Second bracket is 3 into minus 5 with a minus sign in between. 7 12s are 84, the minus sign, and 3 into minus 5 is minus 15. So it's 84 minus of minus 15, that's 84 plus 15. 84 plus 15 is 99, so your D is equal to 99. Once we get the value of D, now it's time for us to find the value of DX. To find dx, you need to delete the coefficients of x from d. So you need to delete the first column and replace it by constants that is 15 and 39. So let's find the value of dx. Let's cross multiply. It's 15 into 12 minus 39 into 3. 15 12s are 180 minus 39 into 3 is 117. 180 minus 117 you get the value of dx as we all know 63. d is 99, dx is 63. Now it's time for us to find the value of dy. dy, delete y, delete the second column and replace it by constants. You get dy is equal to 7 minus 5, 15, 39, which is equal to 7 into 39 minus of 15 into minus 5. The first bracket is 7 into 39, which is 273. Second bracket is 15 into minus 5, that's minus 75. You get 273 minus of minus 75, that's 273 plus 75. And 273 plus 75 is 348. We get D as 99, DX as 63, DY as 348. Now it's time for us to apply Cramer's rule. So you need to write by Cramer's rule. Let us find the value of X and Y. X is equal to DX upon D, which is equal to 63 upon 99. Now what is the common factor between 63 into 99? It is 9, 9 7s are, 9 11s are, you get 7 upon 11, right? y is equal to dy upon d which is equal to 348 upon 99. So be a little careful here, 348 upon 99. So it's 3, 33 is a 99 and 3, 116 is a 348. So it is 116 upon 33. So if in exam you get such answers 116 upon 33, it is not necessary that you are wrong or something. You get such answers, right? As far as this sum is concerned, so we are getting 116 upon 33. 
So here we are getting the value of x as 7 upon 11 and we are getting the value of y as 116 upon 33, as simple as that.